Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and I had a very long day at work. It's 2am in the morning and I was already about to go to sleep but then I remembered there was a PlayStation showcase while I was at work and then I saw hell yeah we not only got a release date but a newest and first gameplay trailer for one of my most anticipated releases of the year, Assassin's Creed. Rush. We checked out the Assassin's Creed anniversary thing um, earlier this year. We re reacted to the reveal of Assassin's Creed Mirage, and I was so excited there already. And yeah, now the first game of this year. We got the official date, October 12th. And yeah, it's going to be a huge project for me. I will probably be doing a big, big streaming project on it. Not sure if I will be playing it entirely on here, though, or if I will, you know, just play it a bit myself as well. But I would definitely maybe make a content to it, so I'm very very excited for this. I still get to finish Valhalla beforehand. Um, my remember talking about it back then as well. Hopefully, I can you know, finally go ahead and do that. But there's just so much stuff to play. It's so much stuff to do. It's you know it's so difficult to find the time. But anyways, two minutes of the gameplay trailer. I'm very excited to see what they will show us. How it will feel like? Yeah, it will be really going back to the roots. Um, into the more you know earlier Sanskrit direction of it will still be more like Odyssey and Origins. Let's waste any more time and check it out. Oh yeah, that reminds me so much of AC1. Which, by the way, the only old one I played, by the way. Actually, I haven't played 2 and Brotherhood and stuff like that. Oh. You have died and been reborn. People will be very happy with that. I was never that big on the parkour aspect, but I know a lot of people are, so... Ooh, the smoke bombs are very interesting. I'm so excited to see the... Scoochies. You need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. You could bribe the guards to look the other way. I shall see what flavor best suits me. You will be getting... Several options basically. You can go stealthy, you can go more direct. Embrace the fear. Quiet it. Find the stillness. And let's go. Nice. Ooh. It looks gorgeous though. I love the colors. Like the general world looks so stunning. You know what I mean? The stage wow. is yours, Basim. Ooh. We will be watching. Wow, that looks so gorgeous. Oh wow, what is that outfit? Holy moly, what was that outfit? Okay. That looks exciting, to say the least. Um, it really, really feels, visually at least, like a mixture of Origins and the original. I think that's really the best way to describe it. Like mentioned, AC1 is the only old school Assassin's Creed game that I've played. I remember playing it back um, on Ubisoft Plus, actually, which I, I, by the way, don't know yet. If you want to play it over Ubisoft Plus, I think I would probably still pre order it again. Like mentioned, I actually pre ordered Valhalla as well. I got the box there, I actually got the Ivor figurine um, somewhere behind me there as well. But like mentioned, because of so many um, tech issues, I, after like three months, I had to stop playing it and then never really returned to it. So. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can find the motivation before we rush to finish it. Maybe even stream a bit of it. I don't know. I will see. But, um, yeah, I will 100% be playing this on release day. Probably pre-ordered as well. Yeah, this looks this looks wonderful, man. Like mentioned, this, this the original game was really fun as well. But, you know, I'm probably still in the minority when it comes to, you know, Origins and Odyssey and the bits of Valhalla I played. I love that aspect of the you know i love that direction there as well and really feels like we're combining these two things here at least both the new visual you know you know the new visual of it just the general um update in the graphics compared to back then but like mentioned also this old or stealth 
um, is gameplay. But again, it does also feel like we really will be getting options, you know, to not just say, okay, you gotta be stealthy, you gotta play like that, but you can also just, just like back in the original, just say screwed and just, boom, engage in hand on hand combat. And again, visually, just because of the location, Iraq, really, I think it was Iraq, right? Was it Iraq? I think so. Um, huge, huge flashbacks to Origins, which is also such a great game. Odyssey is like my favorite game ever, probably. Or like the one that I not even wasted the most time in, but like that I feel like I've really um, connected the most with due to personal reasons as well. Can I please get the... Um, but like Origins was also so so great. This overview shot alone is just stunning. But I do really wonder, and I think that's actually going to be like the biggest what if for me um, thus far. The thing I'm really actually intrigued by the most. How big and how long will it be? Because obviously the difference between Assassin's Creed 1, the original, and the game like Odyssey or Origins is the huge difference in map size, objectives, ultimately play length. Because I actually remember, I think I played through the first game, which was an open world, or it's some way it was, but like it was way more linear and way, way shorter, and I clocked in and finished it in like 10 to 12 hours, stuff like that. Something in that direction. No, a more classic length for a single player game. Origins and Odyssey, and I think stuff like Black Flag and stuff like that, you know. Um, all went into a much more wider, more broader direction, you know. And I'm really intrigued to see what Mirage will do. Will they also go for a more compact direction, around the 10 hour mark, maybe around 15, maybe around 20? Or will they give you so much content like an Odyssey and Origins and Valhalla, where you can really, really go in and spend in 50 hours, 100 hours, or even more? I think I actually clocked in at around 500 something hours for Odyssey. Just by playing through the map once, okay? Like, we did so much time with it and just enjoyed it so, so, dearly and so, so, um, fully, you know? That's really what I'm intrigued by the most. How long will the game be? Will it be a more short, compacted one or also, once again, a huge, wide world? Very excited to find out about that. But what we're seeing thus far here, we will definitely be getting more trailers up until then. How, how many months are there exactly? Five months around half a year to go before less than half a year actually to go around four months actually up until we can actually play mirage this looks great i can really not complain this looks fantastic Embrace the fear it looks visually striking the gameplay looks like a great combination of old school and you know but yeah we actually don't have any um outerworldly Actually, another thing about it, like um, both Ivor and Cassandra had, you know, like I think he's just a human, you know. The stage is yours, Basim. A big Basim is just a normal, regular human who will play like that. It's we similar to watching. It's similar to buying. We're Obviously, still getting lots of skill trees and lots of opportunities, but they, you know, we're human. We're not, you know, we're not a huge god or something, right? That was the very cool aspect of Odyssey as well, with the huge variety of um, extremely um, strong abilities he had there. That's also probably going to be the thing. I, f I think Mirage really is going back to the roots, um, which I like as well. Okay, let me mention I loved Odyssey. I love the, the wide, the wide uh, map of Origins, and I love how uh, Valhalla basically combined it both uh, with, the, with the mythology included as well. But I'm also so invested into what Mirage is going to be. And this looks like a wonderful <laughs> wallpaper for my PC, honestly. I think I will be doing that. But yeah, that was stunning. I'm extremely intrigued to see more of this game, and I'm so excited to be playing it with y'all together on stream when it arrives on October 12th, um, later this year. I will see you there for it for now. I hope you enjoyed my reaction plus stars and I want to know your thoughts about the game and everything around it down below in the comments. Other than that, stay safe and happy. Stay tuned for more Sanskrit content on the channel. Like mentioned, maybe I will go ahead and do a bit of Valhalla streams here and there now beforehand or, you know, we'll have to see. But other than that, thanks for watching.